just Peace to the gods and the goddesses of the nation and of the land and of all creation. Hope everybody doing well. Hope that you're blessed. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button so you can get all the latest news and info and commentary from your boy. Stay tuned, man. We got something coming up for you. Peace to the gods and the goddesses of the nation, of the land, and of all creation. Hope everybody doing well. Hope you're blessed in a powerful mood, making an impact for not only yourself, but for those who come in contact with you. I know I've been gone for a little bit, man. I hurt my back. My jump off still hurting, man. But, you know, I had to bring some information to you guys. And at this point in time, what we are witnessing, what we're witnessing is the beginning of martial law. What we are witnessing is the beginning of a world war, a world, a world, a world war three, excuse me. And I want you guys to be, you know, up, up on point of things that, you know, you should be thinking of. And I'm going to be able to, you know, give you some, some type, some sort of insight on the things that you need to be aware of and the things that you need to do in order to protect you and your family because that's what this is really about it's about protecting you and your family self-preservation family preservation these are things that has continued on the human race from the beginning of time self-preservation doing things in order to make sure that your lineage continues and that you not only continue your lineage, but you set an impact on the lineage that's continuing. That means bringing knowledge. That means all the wisdom that you have and everything that you've learned throughout your life. You give it to your children. And not only do they experience the things that you went through and they know how to get through it, but also... They experience new things and they pass that lineage on to their children. It's all about self-preservation. Preserving the life that's around you. And at this current state in time, no matter how much techno new technology comes out that you may love, no matter how much new clothes or people come into your life that you may love, you have to understand that one day these things will be gone from you hard times will come for you and in order for the know how to get through these things you have to have simple steps that's put into place that's going to self-preserve you and your lineage we have to be aware of these things and the mess up thing about with the human race is we're so consumed with now that we forgot all about the future yes i am concerned with right now today at time what i'm gonna do but everything that i do is for the future it's for my family and myself and those who i hold dear to me you get what i'm saying so don't listen to that little oh it's all oh that yolo i'm living in the now yes live in the now but prepare for your future because it's not only you that you're looking at and that's the problem with black people. 
if you notice with the right with the white race, what are they doing? They set things in place for their children. Why? Because they know that when they're gone, their children are still going to be here. And they have to leave sound wisdom and financial help for their children and their children after them. That's why you see a lot of them invest. You see a lot of them, you, you know, hold on to bank accounts and create insurance policies and wills for their family because they're just not thinking about themselves at that time. Of course, you're going to think about yourself at a point of time and make sure that you're happy and having the fun. But you also have people that you have to look out for, too. And that this current state in time, when we're going through all of these wars and rumors of wars and all of these things that's going on with our nation, we have to be in the in the state of mind to self-preserve ourselves and self-preserve our families and make sure that something is positive is being brought out of that so that when the shit does hit the fan, you ready. So certain steps that you must take in order to self-preserve yourself and make sure that you're good have to be in place. I have certain things in place for me and my family. I have certain things that I'm trying to put in place for me and my family. You get what I'm saying? Because the grind don't stop. But I'll, you know, I'll give you a few tips and a few steps. And this is not a one video thing that you could just get rid of in just one minute. But I'll just hit you with little two little knowledges at this point in time. So you will be able to know what to do. Number one, you know that once the shit does hit the fan, what's going to happen? The things that you are that you need to keep yourself alive are going to be stripped from you. That means food. You're not going to be able to go into a, a, a store or a grocery store or a restaurant like how you look, used to unless you're down with the movement. And know for all you Christians, I'm not talking about the rapture where you have to have the mark of the beast to be able to go. But that concept will be in place to where you will have to be in the new world order in a part of the system that's going on where all of your freedoms are relinquished to the government and you have no and you have no you know you you have no say in the matter about you or your family's life excuse me it's sort of like that now when you have a baby and you and you give them the um the social security number what you're doing you're making that baby part of the state but like i was saying when the shit hits the fan, just know for certain that one of the first things that they're going to be taking from you is food and water. How do you combat that? Now at the part of now at this part of the time in your life when you're having all of these, when you're seeing everything going around and it's and and and, and it's in circulation, and you know that the point of the martial law and the World War Three is coming, you have to be prepared. So what do you do? You go get food packages. You have a uh, services called Wise Food, which, and I'm gonna post a picture up so you can see exactly how it looks too. Then you have a service called Wise Food, where they give you food packaging that's liable to hold you up to 25 years. That has an expiration date of 25 years. It comes with like 240 something different packages of different type of foods for breakfast lunch and dinner that you and your family and they could serve up to eight so if you have you have let's say and, and i think they only like a few hundred dollars if you have these if you have these things in place and when the shit hits the fan and another thing that you have to that you gonna need shelter you're gonna have to have tents you're going to have to have sleeping bags. They have services now where you could get flat. You could get flat, flat packs that blow up into a tent and blow up into a shelter. So you could be able to leave, live. You could have some of these things. You could have tents inside. You, you know, you, you carry things that's vital to you and your family. It is going to come a point in time where the woods and wilderness are your best friends. Urban life. City life, even little town life, will no longer be your best friends. You're going to have to be off the grid. 
Why do you think there's so many people that's on YouTube right now showing you how to live off the grid? They're showing you this even though they don't know it and you don't know it. But the laws of nature and the, predict the predict predictability of what's going to happen in the future are being set in place so you could know what to do when certain shit happens, how you will have to live off the grid, how you will have to be able to feast on certain animals and know certain medicines from the plants and the trees and the bushes and all of that, what you can eat, what you can't eat, what you can use, what you can't use. You're going to have to learn. It's going to take you all the way back to where the beginning of the time where there was no structures or was no certain things in modern times that you had to survive off. So what I tell people right now is learn the nature, learn your surroundings, learn different animals, learn different plants, and look up these certain things that I'm telling you right now, like wise foods, where you could be able to have food set up for you and your family that will last you up to 25 years and not go bad. Let's say you get you get two, three, four, five of those packs. Let's say you, you got a random $2,000. And you just spend all of that on these certain packages right there. You get what I'm saying? You got your family set up to where y'all could be in somewhere off the grid for up to 25 years and you still surviving. Not only that, are you eating that food, but you benefited off the other food that you're hunting and hunting inside of the wilderness of where you're at at that point in time. Because you're going to have to be off the grid. They are going to have the cities and towns on smash. And trust and believe, they will be in the wilderness looking for you too. But the earth is so vital and the earth is so spectacular. There's so many places like caves and, you know, even modern things of mines and certain things of mountains and certain places where they are not going to come. And as long as you keep migrating... Do like the nomads did, keep moving from place to place, and keep, you will stay out of their sight, family. You get what I'm saying? But I want you to put things in place in order for you to be able to survive out there and not have to go through the hardships. You're going to have to live off of the land. Learn how to create structures. Love. Learn how to build things with your hands. So you could be able to learn how to be able to tell the seasons. How what certain like in like you got like in the um in the summertime where the sun is more the the sun is more positioned to a certain um to a certain to a certain degree to where it's more pointed south and you got you got one side where it's more pointed north. You get what I'm saying? When the sun rises, know your seasons. Know, know what type of season that you will be able to be in. Know what type of day it is. Learn your time. You have to, you're going to have to live off of the land. You know, and I'm not going to, you know, hold you guys up too much. I just wanted to give you a couple of tips on what's going to happen and what you need to put in place in order to get out of the bad situation that you may be in at that time. Because the current state of this country at this time, and the president, and the beef that he's not only making within his country, but the beef that he's making outside of his countries with multiple nations, and you know you got diseases like the coronavirus that's going around, mass hysteria, thousands, like almost 100,000 people dead, hundred I mean um, almost 100,000 people in infected about a couple of thousand that's dead you get what i'm saying so you have all of these things that's in place right now look how everything is formulating itself to it's like the world is cleansing itself of all of this fucking problem that us as a human race has brought forth because me personally i believe that the worst thing that we could have did was turn this shit modern to what we got right now and I blame that on the government because if you know anything, there was a man by the name of Nikola Tesla who wanted, who went to like, let's say he went to high for um, Niagara Falls, excuse me. He went to Niagara Falls and he said, and the, the things that he was building that he was putting in place to where the Niagara Falls could be able to power up this entire globe for an entire year. Just off of that power alone, he was the first one to bring with the um the wind the wind um things that you see up 
with, you know, positive electricity without having to burn fuels and burn coal and shit of that nature. This was the person and they killed that man and took all of his shit. The FBI took all of the Tesla shit and motherfucking got that shit somewhere in the laboratory with a whole bunch of different scientists. If you know anything about history, you know that once when they got rid of Hitler, they took all the top scientists from all around the world. Tesla and all of these people was was amongst those people. And they came up with plans in each nation that was part of the United Nations at that point in time. Split up the scientists, you know, in each West. But Tesla was here in America. And he was living here in New York State. And once he died... The FBI and the government took a hold of all his stuff. His family said they went to his house to retrieve his stuff. They said once they came in, they already knew what had happened. It looked like it had got broken into. They said they left only a few couple of letters, but the majority of that man work they took from him. Why I'm telling you is, is this. It's like the earth is cleansing itself from the bullshit that us as modern humans today have corrupted and brought force upon not only ourselves but to nature itself so get in the get learn that it's going to be a cleansing of the earth and we are the main people that are bringing forth this cleansing we are going to cleanse ourselves from this earth you get what i'm saying so just take these little vital 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 things that i just brought to you guys and trust and believe there will be more i'll bring up more and more information because i love you guys and i want you guys to be safe and i want you to be able to protect not only yourself but your family and those who you hold dear to you so trust and believe there will be more until then peace to the gods and the goddesses of the nation of the land of all creation and y'all stay blessed and i'll see you again soon